Hey guys, it's Yaya and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to share this super food with you guys, blue spirulina. I have been obsessed with this ingredient and basically using it in everything. Uh, so today I'm gonna make a hair mask and I really wanted to share it with you guys, okay? We're gonna jump right in because it's gonna be a pretty lengthy video. There's a lot of components. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the water phase, okay? I'm using distilled water as always, um, but I'm gonna set that aside for a moment because what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and add our thickening agent, our gel agent which is going to be um, Garcat which is the um, basically cosmetic version of Gargum that we used in our last uh, video about gelling agents okay um, so this is not the food grade this is the cosmetic grade I'm going to suspend it in glycerin just to make like a slurry and it's just gonna make it easier for me to dispense it into the water and get it to gel up instead of clumping up and causing lumps like last time a lot of you suggested this to me i have done this before um like i said i didn't want to add variables to the last uh test i was doing with the gelling agents okay so we're going to go ahead and make this slurry and then we're going to add it into the distilled water phase now i did notice that the garcat is not a lot like the other gelling agents that we reviewed previously it took a lot longer for me to see results with the uh, the consistency that I was looking for um, when you're mixing it together at least give it 15 minutes if it doesn't start to congeal um, then you probably want to look at the pH and then adjust the pH accordingly I added just a little bit of citric acid just a tiny bit and it definitely helped to get the consistency to what I was looking for um, for this gel you also notice with the Garcat that this is a clear gel with the food grade it was very cloudy so just to let you know that if you want to make a cosmetic you know uh, use the cosmetic version that you can get a clear gel with that. So that's pretty awesome, okay? So moving forward, we're going to go ahead and add the rest of our water-loving ingredients to our water phase. I'm adding marshmallow root, slippery elm, fenugreek, and also manuka honey. You guys, I'm super excited. You guys have seen me use mar marshmallow root before. I absolutely love it. One thing I really love about the powder version is that you get the mucilage that you're looking for a lot faster. Um, when you're dealing with the bark and you're boiling it and boiling it, as you guys have seen in previous videos, it just goes on forever and it takes a lot to get that um that mucilage that you're looking for now with the slippery m especially the powder version um you can actually mix it at room temperature and get the mucilage out without even having to boil it so that's pretty cool if you wanted to make like a simple detangler or something like that okay another ingredient i have been obsessed with is manuka honey you guys i eat it i use it for my face it clears up acne it has healing properties so i could not leave it out of this hair mask also i wanted to let you guys know that the powders that i use um you definitely could suspend those in glycerin as well to make it a lot easier to mix in but we're going to heat this up anyway so it's going to eventually dissolve and for those pieces that don't dissolve as well you can definitely just take those out okay i specifically chose these ingredients to complement the spirulina and uh the benefits that spirulina gives your hair i wanted to just complement those and bring them out even more okay okay our last ingredient of the water phase is a mild surfactant i know i know it is a synthetic surfactant and um it definitely is mild it's used in even baby products um but just do your research i'm gonna try to leave something down below so you guys can look it up for yourself okay it's just a mild cleanser it's gonna help give your uh hair mask a little bit more foam uh just that lather that you're looking for and it also is going to just help cleanse the hair a little bit more you can also substitute for clay you can use a clay if you want to if you just want to keep it all natural and no synthetics no anything but as long as you're using it at a low percentage um it's definitely fine uh the only concerns is maybe allergies okay so just be careful of that um but other than that this is our water phase look at the mucilage that's already coming out of the marshmallow root and slippery elm it's beautiful you guys mixed with the garcat i'm obsessed okay <laughs> so i'm going to go ahead and place this into uh, a water bath and i'm going to heat it up and uh yeah i'm going to get it ready so i can mix it together with the oil phase Jumping right into the oil phase, I'm using rose hip oil, which is really good with rejuvenating damaged 
scalp tissue which is really good for the scalp i'm also using kukui nut oil i hope i'm pronouncing that right which is also great for itchy scalp and rejuvenating the scalp okay um so i really picked these ingredients to help with the scalp um btms 50 is of course is our emulsifying uh, wax our conditioning emulsifying wax and then cidal alcohol is going to be our thickener and also emollient so it's just going to give it a great feel okay and also a little slip mango butter is also really great has a lot of vitamin c uh, antioxidant properties it's just overall amazing for the hair so all of these are very reparative um, ingredients that's going to help damage hair and just really re-sculpt and rejuvenate um, your hair in your scalp which is perfect for a hair mask all right, so after you have melted down your oil phase, we can go ahead and do my favorite part, which is mixing the water and the oil together. Now here, I just wanted you guys to see, this is really piping hot right now, but there's still a lot of uh, gelling right here. So it's so beautiful. I'm excited to see the end result. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add the oil to the water phase. just beautiful you guys this is literally my favorite part um but i just wanted to show you guys this texture before i even added the immersion blender um to get it to really really emulsify i just wanted you guys to see how beautiful and i don't know i can't explain this texture <laughs> it's very like this very jelly like uh texture to this hair mask that i'm really loving and i also wanted to show you guys uh the little clumps that were from the marshmallow roots that were still left so i think it is a good idea to dissolve or suspend those powders in glycerin before adding them okay it just looks like cake batter is so pretty, but of course it's going to change a little bit because we're now we're going to actually use our immersion blender just to make sure that the water in the oil phase has completely bonded and are mixed very, very, very well. Of course, we're using hand tools at home and we're doing our DIYs at home. We don't have the industrial equipments that's going to really get our products to be like super super stable you know you know what i'm saying so we want to do the best that we can uh, to make sure that they are blended as well as possible water and oil do not like each other <laughs> so they naturally work against each other so that's why you're using your emulsifiers and your uh, thickeners and your other uh, emollients and things to kind of stabilize the emotion and get it to last longer the better the ingredients the better you actually mix it together and during the formulating process the longer and more stable your product will be um, if you don't do it well then you have a chance of your water and oil eventually separating This is a hair mask, so I think you can be a little bit more lenient with the hair mask just because you're going to put it in your hair, you're going to let it sit for a while, and then you're going to rinse it off. This is a rinse off product um, versus something you would leave inside your hair. And because of that, you know, you want to make sure it just has so much slip. And therefore, you can kind of sacrifice that lotiony light texture and get something a little bit more like this, this jelly like really slippery uh texture that's just so beautiful it's gonna glide onto your hair and provide you all this goodness that's just going to soak in and melt in and just give you all the benefits that you want okay so i just really love that you can be so versatile when it comes to hair mask All right, so now that that's done and it is cooled down, we can enter the cool down phase. This is when we're adding the ingredients that are temperature sensitive, okay? That's like our preservatives, our vitamin E, our uh, fragrance or essential oils that we're adding, or some of our extracts are heat sensitive. So you wanna be very careful and make sure you research your ingredients so you know which ones um, need to be protected from the heat and which ones you should add during the cool down phase. All right, to make sure that our preservative does not destabilize our entire product, we're just gonna take a little bit out, mix it into a separate container, and then put it back in, okay? I do this because I have several times added a preservative to a whole batch, and the whole batch destabilized, which means the oil literally separated from the, the um, 
oil and then it became like cottage cheese it's horrible you guys okay <laughs> uh, so it's just smart to test it um before adding it to the entire thing uh Preservatives are very sensitive, you guys. They're sensitive to temperature. If the temperature is too high, they're also sensitive to pH levels, you know. So you want to constantly be te testing your pH and also constantly testing your temperature throughout your formulation. These are awesome formulation uh, practices um, to make sure that your product stays stable. All right, so this is done, you guys. This is so beautiful. You can use this as a hair mask all by itself. But I just really feel like this blue spirulina is what's going to amplify this hair mask, okay? Blue spirulina has detoxifying properties. So basically, it's cleansing the scalp. You know, it's going to help with regrowth of the hair. It's helping to feed it, repair it, heal it, reduce dandruff itchy scalp dry scalp whatever you name it spirulina can do it for your hair and this is why i absolutely love it and i just wanted to just implement it into this already amazing hair mask okay i'm gonna add just a little bit because i want to test out the color um spirulina blue spirulina is a natural colorant that you can use um and it just provides a very beautiful color um i use just a little bit to get like this very light blue very light baby blue color you guys but um i just wanted to test a little bit at a time so that's why i put um some of the formulation into a separate container and then i'm just going to mix it together and just show you guys how beautiful this is another reason why i could not pass up the opportunity to use blue spirulina is because it helps with the thinning of the hair okay You're dealing with postpartum shedding hair loss anything of that sort um i know i dealt with thinning after i had my son i also dealt with thinning uh just because of health reasons okay so my hair is flourishing right now and i just couldn't pass up the chance to use blue spirulina in my new healthy hair journey okay so we are detoxifying the scalp we are encouraging hair growth we're reducing hair loss and thinning hair we're adding volume you know these are the beautiful wonders of spirulina and then we have all these other ingredients that are just literally enhancing this hair mask which is going to make it basically a miracle um it's beautiful you guys look how beautiful it is would you guys look would you guys try this would you guys try to make this and using your hair this is just beautiful um so i really love the color so i'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of it and then add a little bit more spirulina until i get the perfect consistency that i'm looking for One thing to watch out for while you're mixing it is that it can uh, take a while for it to just really blend in really well, okay? So you might think it's blended in and then you might see a couple of streaks, but don't worry. Just keep mixing, keep mixing, and it will all blend in so beautifully. Um, there are little specks that are in the um, uh, hair mess from the fenugreek and the Slipper M and marshmallow powder but i absolutely love those characteristics of this hair mask it just makes it even more just authentic and raw and i just absolutely absolutely love it all right you guys we are done look at how beautiful this is i cannot wait cannot wait cannot wait cannot wait this is so beautiful i can't wait for you guys to to see it to try it and um leave me some feedback would you try this and if you did try it how did it work out for you okay definitely give me um just let me know i love to hear from you guys leave it down in the comment section down below as always all the measurements ingredients uh and everything is down in the description box if you want to know more have questions about things i've used it's down in the description box below okay uh so yeah that is it for this hair mask now i did go back and add uh more spirulina to the other uh, rest the remaining of uh, the hair mask that I had left over um, just because I wanted to see uh, how deep the blue could get and also if I add more and more spirulina will it give it a different texture or will it stay the same so that is what I did You guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting it to get this deep blue, but it's beautiful, it's so vibrant. And I think, like I said, with a hair mask, you really can be versatile and just be lenient and really play with colors, play with textures. So that's what I really love about hair masks. You know, there's not, um, 
this really strict um ideal of what it should look like feel like you know so i love that about a hair mask and this is absolutely gorgeous i love both of them i like both colors and i would use both of them um uh also, both of them are equally as thick. They're equally the same. So adding more spirulina did not make it clumpy. It did not make it dry. It did not make it uh, any less beautiful than it is, you guys. So which one do you like? Which one do you prefer? And would you guys give this recipe, give this formulation a try? I'm definitely going to do more with the spirulina. What would you guys like to see me use it in? Like a conditioner, hair butter, shampoo, different stuff like that. I definitely want to do more tests with the spirulina. So yeah, you guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Uh, please like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. That is the only way, only way, only way that you can keep up with all the videos that come out you guys and that you won't miss a thing i have a lot of things coming up for you guys yes yaya creations is still 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 selling selling uh products but everything is on back order you guys i'm doing the best to get orders out as fast as i can there's a lot going on in the world right now but i am sticking to it and i'm really doing the best that i can to keep you guys updated i am just one woman but i will work like i am a hundred i promise you okay <laughs> i love you guys so much thank you again a hundred times over uh for just supporting me and everything that i do it really encourages me to keep going and keep moving forward okay oh one last thing i wanted to show you guys uh uh, uh about the spirulina and the color okay because you know it's this deep blue and you're like okay is this gonna be on my clothes is it gonna leak is it gonna stain okay yeah so i i did want to do that quick little test um i found that this this product is definitely for the hair you don't want to use it for your skin but it's still absorbed in the skin you know i rubbed it in and it disappeared okay there was no color left behind there was no residue left behind and my skin was super soft and soap okay so it was beautiful i uh, i didn't see any color transfer fur but i would test that out first you guys okay it is a hair mask so just wear protective gear just if you would if you were washing your hair okay all right see you in the next video bye i stare into your eyes and you into mine Perfectly still, like we have frozen time. I don't want this to be over.